Hey guys, uh, this isn't a usual video for me, but I want to uh, help save you guys some money. So on a Toyota Prius, we just changed the wheel bearings and we had to remove the, um, it's a speedometer sensor, it's also an ABS sensor. Um, it's right next to the wheel bearings, it's plugged in and one little uh, bolt holds it in. But we took it out and had to put it back in, and when we put it back in, the lights are cleared now, but the brake light was on, the ABS light was on, and this light right you find it right here in the on, this light right here the uh, brake system warning light so how you can get rid of that now what the what the problem was the brakes weren't full stopping power in the front it felt like only the backs were working right so what you can do is get a paper clip like this and then let me see the camera I'm gonna go up under right there. so up under here if we get focus all right so you're gonna put one pin right here in the fourth one and then over here in the fifth one where the where the left pins at so the fifth and the fourth now how you can remember is that these first three on this one where you go to the fourth is clear and then over here only two are clear so you do that you put that in and then uh, you don't press the brake oh, okay you do press the brake and the power button you turn the car on and then uh, a little screen should pop up and it'll be an odd little screen it's not the usual screen and then as soon as that comes on pump your brakes eight times or more within five seconds so really fast pump up eight times and then you turn the car back off pull the pin out from under here and turn it back on and your brake lights will all go away and uh, as well your front brakes will be working right um, it's just like a malfunction or something in the brake system if you clear it like this, your brakes will be working full power again. And don't go to Toyota because they're going to charge you a lot of money. And they may even say your actuator is bad because that's what we were thinking. Uh, there was no videos on this online. Everyone said it was an act a bad actuator. And the part was like $1,200. <clears throat> and that's not including your labor fee. So this should solve the problem if your actuator is not actually going out like mine wasn't. We just replaced the wheel bearings. And that's what just so happened to happen. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you need uh, step by step, again, just rewind the video. I explained everything you have to do. Um, in the description. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll put it in the description as well. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. Thank you.